What's up guys, I'm here once more to talk about my two favorite cameras. And it was kind of hard to decide like buying a Fuji camera, you know, but I upgraded from the Fuji X-H1 to the Fuji X-H2 and I wanted the Fuji X106, but that back order thing seemed like I won't get that until like next year. I'm like, nah, I need something that is very pocketable, pocketed up, mobile. <laughs> yeah, that word. So basically, I'm here to talk about both of these cameras and uh, which one seems, you know, like a good fit for you. It was kind of hard to even buy another 40 megapixel camera because I'm like, why do you want both cameras to have like the same sensor, the same almost the same of everything but to be told these are actually two different cameras for like two different audience in my eyes so firstly i love the xh2 right it's like my to-go camera outside of the other cameras that i own it's pretty cool pretty unique right uh the new thing to my list is actually the xt5 and the reason why I actually got this X-T5 because I wanted something, as I said earlier, small, you know, I love the vintage look of this camera. Um, I, love the, I love the idea that, yo, you can, you know, like add some cool accessories to it. And, yo, I just wanted something like I kind of just fling around and take with me, you know, you know, capture some stuff with my daughter and stuff like that. And the X-H2. Mm, that's not going to fit the profile that I was looking for. As you can see, I have a battery grip on it. You get me? And all those lovely things. So, let's talk about the X-T5, right? As I said, I wanted something that is like pocketable. You know, we can add us put on a small pancake lens on it if I want and just, you know, walk around with it. But there are some things that I like about it and there are some things that I don't like about it. Okay, so let me talk about things that I do like about it. First and foremost, both of them have the same photo quality, like legit the same photo quality. So I really wanted this camera for photos. You get me? Because this is, this is more for me of a hybrid type of camera compared to this. But I just wanted something like it has a vintage look, it has a vibe. I, I want to like feel the fun of shooting photos again compared to the X. 106 that's why i wanted it but i'm like yo both of these cameras basically have the same type of sensor well same looking photos and everything based on how you edit and stuff like that but i'm like yo let me pick this up i can change the knob on here i can add some accessory um i have actually a, a grip extension and stuff like that so just to make the camera feel like personal to me you get me so because of the color and everything, I'm more quick to grab this camera compared to my X-H2, right? So if I'm like just going on the road, you know, doing something fun, not going to the skate park and stuff like that, I just can just grab this camera and I'm good to go. We I both use the same lens on both camera system because they are, they are both X-mount cameras, right? I love the fact that, yo, I feel like I can just take out this camera and shoot because I have the... You know the shutter the iso dial up on top and i can just easily turn it so it just feels like i'm actually using a vintage camera but it's like you know a more modern vintage style camera and yo like i pulled this out recently and somebody said yo i like a camera yeah i get that type of look from this type of camera right so the look and the aesthetic and everything I love about it the quality from it is really amazing i mean like both cameras shoot amazing photo and video quality right but uh let's just say the thing that i really don't like about it right uh the buffer speed the buffer buffering of photos like it's pretty it's pretty lame i should say do i have a memory card in it? let me show you guys so it's pretty lame so it's doesn't really work as smooth as how oh, I love it too, right? So let me just change the drive mode, right? And let me just show you what it, what it sounds like when. Oh, that's the video. Let me show you guys like how quick it 
stop take photos because like if i want to shoot some some like sports or stuff like that that this is definitely not the camera for you if you want to do that so let me give you an idea so this is it and that's it like like that is basically it and i'm like like why why you get me and i'm not using any slow sd card you know like let me show you the type of sd cards that i'm using i have two sony tough card in it in here okay so i'm used oh my bad okay so i using uh sony v90 card right and i using another sony 256 this is one is 60 v one is v16 one is v90 right so i use the v the v60 card to store to store all of the raw photos and stuff like that right and then i use the v90 to store the jpeg and stuff like that but it doesn't matter which one of the cards i use to store raw photos it just doesn't really work out for me as it relates like just shooting on burst mode now burst mode is not for me with this type of camera so like that's just a downfall for me and it doesn't have a headphone jack yeah no headphone jack that's kind of disappointing because actually took it out like legit this morning say oh i wanted to like um capture some videos but i was going to do like an interview and i wanted something small i never wanted anything too big and bulky right i never wanted to like take on my fx3 and stuff like that so i'm like yo let me just record this but then I just remember, oh shoot, there's no headphone jack. And I'm like, oh, okay, I won't be able to monitor the audio. And I'm not going to get any form of adapter to like, you know, listen to the audio from this. I'm like, nah, okay. And outside of not having an headphone jack, there's no full size HDMI port. The, so the HDMI port here is very tiny. Like, why do I need a tiny HDMI port? I mean, I think. I think it has this, the size to even put in an HDMI port in it, like a full size HDMI port. I think it, like, I believe that Fuji could have put, I believe that Fuji could have placed a full size HDMI port in this, because, like, you don't know what if I want to, like, get up and shoot something out of the booth, but I want to put it on a, um, I want to monitor it with a, with a monitor. I can't i don't like the idea well i can but i just don't like the idea of using a micro hmi like that's so 2016 and because of the the hmi thing like for me this camera is not really ideal for videos but it actually takes good videos i think it maxed out at 6.2k right which is really good and this max out at 8k 30 so 6.2k 30 8k 30 which i don't really need to shoot 8k 30 but yo yeah and it doesn't shoot ProRes internally, unfortunately, right? So there's no ProRes recording. Just I think it's all intro and some other codecs, which it's actually good, really good, like really good. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's why I wanted to do the interview with this um, type of camera. And another thing that I don't like about it is the ergonomics of it, right? If you can look right here, so the grip is not really ideal i had to like get a extension grip so i can actually feel like camera so it actually can feel like it's in my hand because like if i never had the inter extension grip my pinky would be my god i need to i'm falling off i'm falling but yeah it's pretty good that's such a decent camera as i said i love it i love it like you can actually set your custom button and see what you want and how you like it and stuff like that connect this camera to your fuji app and take the photos off which is same thing for this so it's like yo for me this camera i won't really it's like a backup camera for the xh2 for me like i won't really think about like yo i'm going to bring it on a high corporate shoot for videos or anything like that but for photos, yeah, I can do like, you know, like if I'm doing like a corporate event and um, if I'm doing like a weddings and stuff like that, you know, there's like a B cam for me for majority of the stuff that I want to do. That's really just like shooting with both of these Fuji cameras. So if you're like a hobbyist, this would be like a perfect camera for you. And it is way cheaper than this. It's like, what, $6.99 now at, at this current recording? 
yeah so it's like really cool you get me and the final thing for me is like i like the idea that the, the video quality is good but this camera is not good for vlogging like the type of screen yeah so if you're doing photos this really this camera is really truly meant for like a photographer you know? so like if you need photos this is what you get right and tilt this way tilt this way and you can actually tilt it this way as well you get me so yeah so this is really not for anybody who wants to do vlogging just letting you know so let me talk about the x h2 so i love when my camera has on a cage on it i don't i didn't want any cage on it because i wanted to keep it very very minimalistic you get me so for the xh2 now there's so much things that i love about this camera i'm like yo it is like a true hybrid camera like my list goes on and on and on and on the mere fact that i can actually put a battery grip on this camera if i want right this doesn't have the option to do a battery grip so like the xc5 doesn't have the option to add a battery grip to it unfortunately and the xt2 the xt3 had the option to add a battery grip i think the xc4 had the option to do a battery grip i'm not sure about the xc4 but yeah like i like to have the options you know like that's that's my thing i like give me options just like for the full size hmi if I don't want to use it, I don't want to use it. Just give me options. There's no headphone jack. Just give me options. You get me? If I want to use it, I don't want to use it. That's how simple it is. Like, if you want to make us as a photographer or content creator um, life easy, just give us the option. It's either we say yes or no. Give me the option for internal ProRes. There's no internal ProRes. But this has the internal ProRes. I have the flip out screen if I want, you know. Like I can articulate it how I want it. You get me if I want a low photo shot. Um, you can actually bring it out and get a low shot. You get me? I can vlog with this camera. Um, I have a top LCD screen if I want. Instead of I've turned on the camera, up, you get me? Yo, I can actually see this LCD screen on the top in the night time because I can change the color. Well, it's not really color. I can change it comes in black and white so i can actually change which one i want it to be right um they have quite a few um custom buttons you get me and because of the fact that i'm using um a battery group i can use two good batteries so these are the batteries that i use here's some white batteries i think these are from is it from viltrox yes i think is it from viltrox no knf yeah my bad so these batteries are from knf right and these are 2400 right 2400 compared to the original batteries let me see the original batteries come at uh where is it where is it 2040 yeah 2040 compared to 2400 so i have more power in the xh2 longer battery life as well you get me and I have the option to go eco or boost mode by clicking off a switch on this camera bear in mind this camera costs like two thousand more <laughs> like two thousand something than this camera right so i'm like so i in well it's one nine 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 so let's see how let's put it at two thousand yo the mere fact that i can actually shoot nice photos with this camera um as it relates to the buffering so let me let me show you guys the buffering do i have a card in it i think i do do i there's no card in it let me get a card right now yo i recently got this coolest little card case with like all my fuji watches and yo all the sd cards that i want all right so let me show you well, you can listen the buffering speed on this let me change the drive mode to high my bad so listen to this all right so that's me shooting with like yo so let me go to 
I'm gonna I'm go to the 20 frames per second, but that is that is me cropping into the sensor a bit. That has been shooting. That has been shooting. That has shoot. That has shoot. That has shoot. It's not stopping. It's not stopping. It's not gonna. Yeah, that's that's basically the whole idea of shooting with this type of camera. Like this is really good. The reload speed, the buffer speed is way better than the XT5. Like way better, right? Um, as I said before, you shoot um 8K30, which I don't really need to shoot 8K30. Like the only time I shoot 8K30, unless I want to do like a punching, right? And it actually works. So another reason why I love shooting on the XA2 for like real hybrid shooting because of good card options. So imagine shooting on a CF Express Type B. I hate calling that word. CF Express Type B type of card. So this is a 512 card. So that's the reason why I can shoot up to 8K on this card. Right? This, is, this card is from Angelbird and it's pretty cheap to some extent. You get me? Yeah, it's pretty cheap to some extent and i can actually shoot on a v90 card uhs type 2 on the xh2 as well so i have better storage options with the xh2 the grip on the xh2 is way better than the xt5 because like yo it's like i can feel the camera in my hand like i can feel it like my pinky knows where to go and not because i have on a battery grip you get me I can feel the camera in my hand like it just feel more to me to me it just feel feels more robust than the xt5 you get me this feels like a real camera that yo i can get some serious job done with this type of camera i don't know like the first time i picked up this camera with the xh1 i'm like yo the xh1 feels really good and xh2 even better the only con to me as really to so the xh2 versus the xt5 the xh2 just costs more that's it like that's just basically it because i can shoot everything the same on the xh2 compared to the xt5 you get me it all depends on what you're using the camera for because as i said this is really for like if i go in like on a local road trip you get me like a hobby type of vibe like i just want to take out the camera to shoot and this is when i want to get some serious work done you get me um i use it to vlog most of the time and stuff like that and because i can use this camera to shoot internal prores sony yeah it actually works good for me you get me outside of the price that's just it like both cameras fit two different type of people to be honest but i love both of them which one would i choose if i'm going to like buy one of these cameras if i had the money just to buy one the xh2 yeah the xh2 because i'm not a hobbyist you get me not saying you hear me out not saying that this camera cannot get some professional work done but based on the type of work that i do the xh2 works way better for me so guys that's it for this video so you determine if you like the xh2 or the xt5 just tell me which one works best for you i'm out